Hello, I'm Kasia Madeira. Our top story on impact today. This is BBC World News Today. I'm Kasia Madeira. Our top story. Hello, I'm Kasia Madeira. You're watching Outside Source. We start with the election that could test President Trump's brand of politics. Hello, good evening and welcome to BBC News. Police say that 58 people are now presumed to have died in the fire at Grenfell Tower in West London. Hello and welcome to London Bridge, the very heart of the British capital, where, as you can see, this is very much an active investigation where the area that was targeted in Saturday's devastating attack is still in lockdown. These police cordons are staying up. Police say they're not sure when they will come down, but what police are saying that they know is the identity of the three attackers. The three attackers who killed seven people on Saturday evening when they targeted pedestrians on London Bridge with a vehicle and then they got out of that vehicle and started lashing out with their knives. Now in the past few hours so-called Islamic State has claimed responsibility for this but of course we have to treat that with a lot of caution. Welcome to BBC News. We'll bring you the very latest on this developing story that's been taking place through the night. Hundreds of firefighters in London are working to rescue people who are trapped in a massive blaze that has engulfed a high-rise block of flats. This is the image live now in West London. There are 40 fire engines that are in the presence of Grenfell Tower. This is in the west of the city. Now, police say that residents were still being evacuated. A number of people were being treated for a range of injuries. This fire broke out in the middle of the night. Uh, we go now to Casio Madeira in Warsaw for, for a reaction in the early morning sunlight there, uh, a reaction to what's happened overnight here in Britain. Well, David, it's a very sunny day here, but the outlook is far from it. This is a country waking up in shock. The main priority is what happens to the nearly million Polish nationals living in the United Kingdom. They make up, of course, the largest non-British national group in the UK. What happens to their status? What happens to their jobs? What happens to their freedom of movement? What happens to the ability of their children to go to school? There are so many unanswered questions at the moment. That as polls get ready for Christmas, not everybody is in the mood to celebrate. Already, tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters have been out on the streets in this country. Find out why. Watch my exclusive interview with the new Polish president, Andrzej Duda, with me, Kasia Madeira, on BBC World News. The new right-wing Polish government, which was only elected in October with a majority, has already got tens of thousands of people protesting against it, not just here in Warsaw or outside the Parliament building, but in 20 cities across the country. Describe this vision of the future. You, you talk about a future Poland and how you will help children, families, and yet you've got thousands of people on the streets protesting against your government. Why is that happening? Now, we're going to turn to the United States because we are getting mixed messages over this so-called Dreamers deal. That's, of course, the deal to protect young, undocumented migrants. And it's because Donald Trump is denying that he reached a deal with these two senior Democrats, Senators Chuck Schumer and Senator Nancy Pelosi. Let's recap what's been happening. Well, on Wednesday night, Mr. Trump had dinner with this pair to discuss a range of issues, including his announcement that the DACA program, the program which protects those undocumented migrants brought to America as children, was being scrapped. Well, following that meeting, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer released this particular web statement. And in this statement, they went on to say that we agreed to enshrine the protections of DACA into law quickly and to work out a package of board to security, adding excluding the wall. That's acceptable to both sides. But then we get this tweet from Donald Trump. Pretty clear. No deal was made last night on DACA. Massive border security would have to be agreed to in exchange for consent would be subject to vote. He elaborated on that tweet when then speaking to reporters a little earlier today. And let's start off with the Telegraph, because, of course, the investigation is continuing into how this Barcelona cell was able to operate for a whole year undetected, how it managed to do this, and looking at, effectively, its own incompetence in the way that it couldn't rent a larger van and do a lot more damage, Sean. 